Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design of these stories using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And this is how it looks. We can see that we have these stories displayed over here. And if I click on any of these stories, we have the story displayed over here in full screen mode. And we also have the title, the next and the previous uh, buttons. And we also have this close button over here. Now in the previous video, we started with the CSS and this is how it looks right now. Now in this video, we will add the design of this full screen story mode. So let's get started. All right, this is the source code. And if you go to the index.html file, here we can see for the full screen mode, we have this division with the class of story full. So first of all, let's target this division right here. So here I'll just type story full and uh, let's set the background color to dark gray let's set the position to fixed and we'll set the left position to zero and the top position to zero and we'll set the height to 100 viewport height and the width to 100 percent and uh, let's see how it looks right now so here we can see we have this uh, full screen mode displayed over here we have the background color displayed now this full screen should be on top of all the other elements. So let's add a Z index over here. So let's tap Z index and let's set it to 500. And now we can see we have the story full division on top of all the other divisions. All right, first of all, let's style this close button over here. So if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see we have this division with the class of close BTN. So let's target that. So here I'll just type story full close BTN. And let's set the position to fixed and we'll set the right position to 32 pixels and we we'll set a top position of 32 pixels and uh, let's set the width to 32 pixels and we'll set the cursor to pointer. Now we can see we have this close button over here. Now we have the next and the previous arrows over here. So let's go back to our source code and let's go to the index.html file. And here we can see we have this division with the class of left arrow for the left arrow. And then we have a division with the class of right arrow. So first of all, let's set a height to these icons. So let's go back to our CSS and let's type story full content left arrow comma story full content right arrow. And we will set a width of 60 pixels. Now let's style the content division inside the story full division. So if you go back to the index.html file, here we can see inside the story full division, we have this division with the class of content. So here I'll just type story full content and let's set the height to 100% of the parent. And we will set the display to flex so that all these elements will be one next to the other. And I will also set align items to the center. Right now let's style this image. So let's type story full. IMG and let's set the height to 90%. Now let's bring all of this to the center. So let's go back to the container division, which is the story full division. And let's set the display to flex, align items to the center and justify content to the center. And now we can see everything is in the center. And for this left and right arrows, let's also add cursor to pointer. So here I'll just type cursor pointer. Right now let's style this title. For the title, we have a division with the class of title and it is inside the content division. So we'll position this title relative to the content division. So for the content division, let's set a position of relative. And now let's target the title. So let's type story full content title and let's set the position to absolute. And now let's set the bottom position to 26 pixels. And let's set the left position to 50% and let's also add a background color. Let's set it to white. And here we can see that the title starts from the center. So we have to type transform translate X and set it to negative 50%. Now we can see it is exactly in the center. And let's set the line height to two. And we'll also add a padding of eight pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. So that's basically it with the title and uh, with this we have completed the design of the full screen mode of the story. Alright, so that's it for this video. In the next video we will start adding the JavaScript and uh, we will add the functionality of all these stories. 
So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.